What is up guys, we're back with another Michael Zombies video, and today, we're back with the tier list. I mean, obviously, this was uh, a long time ago now, and uh, it was very hated, very hated, with such classics as, bro, Walter P99 can literally kill Tank Michael in 10 seconds or less with double tap and JTEC ammo. What are you arguing here? I, I don't understand. Like, it's literally S tier. What are you arguing? Other classics like Pap Walter, Pap Raygun, and Pap Sega is endgame carry. Yeah. What are you arguing here? Like, I, I, I have... I have Walther in S, I have Raygun in S, and I have Sega in A. I don't understand what's being argued here. We have, bro, please get Trench out of B and put it in A because Trench in most vids I watch is like fifth best gun. Valid, absolutely valid. Trench is a great gun. Like high A. Along, along with the other shotgun. Like, all the shotguns are pretty much A. Minus the double barrel. The double barrel sucks. Let's not forget that the double barrel is terrible and has never been good. Don't use the double barrel. So that's a valid, valid criticism, I guess. Um, a, one thing a lot of people did say. One thing a lot of people did say was that the ray gun needs to come down. Which, I like the ray gun. I really do. I get that it does not hit high damage at late rounds, like anything past 30. It's going to take like three, four shots to kill, and it's just going to keep going up the later round you get. But it does splash damage. That's the reason the Wonder Waff is good, because it does chain damage. Like it, it has the lightning chain damage that insta kills. Obviously, that's significantly better than the Ray Gun. But with the Ray Gun, you can also do that splash damage, so you can kill. 10 zombies who are all grouped together in four shots. Sure, you could do it with a Walter too, but it's still the same concept. I'll move it down because apparently this is a big issue for people. Another thing was flamethrower should be moved up. It's not happening. I get it. It's a good gun. It's great for grinding points. It's not a good solos gun, because yes, it is going to push people back, but eventually you run out of ammo, and you got to switch guns. Not a great thing to have happen. It's a slow reload, because it is a built-up percentage, which is not good. So, it could be at the top of B. I don't think it deserves to be A. I don't think that the LMGs necessarily deserve this high of a even though they're like a mid a it's just hard to place them because while they are good weapons and they have very high ammo when you are in round 40 you are not getting through a round without reloading that thing and boy does that thing take forever to reload so what i'm trying to say there is it's a good gun but you have to reload at some point in the round, so you need another gun. It's never going to be S tier because of that. The Walther can do that because its reload is quick. The shotguns can do that because their reload is quick. On that note, Trench Shotgun and Model 680, probably both of these deserve to be an S because you can reload them and fire them Basically at the same time, which is not something the PPSH can do and not something the AUG can do. All of these guns, all of the S tier guns, high damage, high damage, high damage, high damage, a little less high damage, but still high damage. And they all reload, minus the Wonderwaffe, all reload very quickly. That's another reason I like the, the ray gun so much. It has a quick reload. I value, as a solos player, 
I value a quick reload more than I value significant damage. Sure, you could unload an LMG, 150 rounds right in a zombie's head. You could clear the entire thing. But now you have to reload that thing, and that takes eight seconds to reload. To reload a shotgun, it takes a second to put a round in. You can shoot while reloading. These shotguns are broken. The Walther, the Magnum, extremely high damage. And they reload very quickly. The Wunderwaffe, if you're shooting that thing three times a round, six times a round if you pack a punch it, not great because it insta-kills, but, you know, if you just chain the enemies, you know, make them all run around, you know, especially on their eyes because there's a lot of open space. If you get all the zombies next to each other, well, you only need to fire one shot then. The gun is incredible at round 70 plus because nothing else can wipe the entire map if you just wait for the entire map to get to you. Now you're going to have to run around a little bit, so you're going to want a pistol. I prefer to have a Walther on me if I'm going to do this because you move faster with a pistol. Another thing that the LMGs do not have. The LMGs slow you down, and it's not a good time. Either way, another thing that was stated, car 98K. Boy, do I hate this gun. But pack-a-punched, it's usable. Definitely usable. Uh, both it and then the actual PTRS, which is just a better gun. Um, both of them, usable. I prefer shotguns over them. Snipers are good on long-range maps. You know what Michael Zombies doesn't have? Long-range maps. So the fall-off doesn't matter. A trench shotgun does the exact same damage, and it reloads significantly faster. There's no point in having a sniper. Something I absolutely agree with is that Flamethrower is the perfect support weapon. You know why it's a support weapon? Because it can't stand alone on its own. It just can't. There are too many zombies. Sure, it's great if you have other people. Fantastic. Especially on one window. You just aim at the window. If you and another person have a flamethrower, it's just over. You pack a punch them, you just stare at the window, and you shoot your flamethrower. Why? Because they'll never get close enough to you. Because there is enough pushback from it. But when you're alone, and you're on a map, like Dare Rise or something, and you get a flamethrower, sucks to be you, because you don't have infinite ammo. You gotta go stand in a corner and try to push zombies away from you? No, it's not gonna work because they're gonna come at a different pace and they're just not going to be all pushed away at one time. Another thing that I just looked at, another comment, is that Sega is better statistically. Which I agree with. Statistically, on paper, that gun is significantly better than the other shotguns. But you know what it doesn't perform at? Actually playing the game. Because you can shoot and reload the other shotguns. Minus the double barrel. The double barrel sucks. We keep the double barrel down at the bottom because no one likes it. It's terrible. It's a horrible gun. Never use it. Another thing. Oh. Another thing I don't understand here. Well, I do understand it, but it's not like dramatic enough to me to be S tier. Mauser is definitely underrated. Pack a punch, it's actually good. But. Is it S-tier? No. A lot of people push for it to be S-tier. I don't think so. I think it's probably Pack-A-Punch, probably a high B, low A. But in general, in total, probably a B, kind of a lower B. Because I think not Pack-A-Punch is absolutely terrible. Um... But then you're going to probably go and say, oh, well, you know, Mr. Wick and the Magnum when they're pack-a-punched are actually really good. But then when they're not, they're kind of garbage. Well, the Magnum's not. But Walther, not pack-a-punched. It's not the best gun. Definitely better than the Mauser. But when you pack-a-punch it, it's actually the best gun. It is actually the best pack-a-punch gun. Because you don't pack-a-punch the Wonder Waffle. You just don't do it. And it's just not worth it. Um, but it is the best gun when pack-a-punched. 
because it does infinite, it has so much ammo and basically does infinite damage until you get to like around 70 something, but like, either way, it's a great gun, it has incredible ammo, and the Mauser just does not compete on that. One of my favorite comments is, I said in the last video that a high ammo pool is key, which completely agree with, and then the response to that was, flamethrower, am I a joke to you? Like... The flamethrower is not good. People overhype the flamethrower. It's it's a B tier gun. It just is. I don't know how else to explain this. Sure. It is very good on one window. Very good. It's great at grinding points. That's very true. But it just doesn't stand alone. And I I just don't understand why people love it so much. Another comment is that I think the Sniper and Trench are both A+, maybe even S. Trench, completely agree with. Sniper, not as much. Sniper, the reload is horrible. It does a lot of, a lot of damage. I agree with that. But the reload is horrible. Like, the car and the PTRS, they both do insta-kill headshots basically until like 42, 45, something like that. Uh, but they're not very good when compared to these other guns because the reload is terrible. And if you don't hit a headshot, you're not killing them. So if you only have six bullets and you can't headshot all of them, you're now trapped and you can't do anything about it because you chose a terrible gun. That's all I have to say about that. I, snipers are good at long range. Snipers are not meant for basically Michael Zombies. Shotguns are always OP, especially slug shotguns, but shotguns are always OP. That, that just goes for like any game. Shotguns are always OP. Except for the double barrel shotgun, and I hate the double barrel shotgun. And if you try to say the double barrel shotgun's good, you're just lying to yourself. Just, like, just, just don't. It's just not good. Like it has the problem that every sniper has is that it's basically an instant reload. Same thing. Same thing with the rocket launcher. It is an instant reload gun. You shoot it and you reload. Basically, what I'm saying is the carbines aren't the worst. Uh, basically, it's a double barrel and a rocket launcher because they're not good. They're not good. Don't use them. Um. The only thing that I would ever use a rocket launcher for, Undead Nocturne, opening up the wall. It's all I'd use it for. It's the only reason. There is no other reason to use it. Like, sure, maybe it's the only gun you have. I would rather melee. It's just not a good gun. And with that rant out of the way, I think I'm going to end it here. So if you guys did like, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Again, leave a comment on what you guys think is wrong, and maybe I'll come visit this in a year again. But I do think this is better than it was. I do like that... The trench is finally up at S because I, I don't know why I underrated the trench in the first place. I've always used the trench. I've always used the model 680. Like, I've used both of them a lot, always. So I don't know why I just underrated those, like, heavily. Probably because they're shotguns. I don't think people like shotguns. But on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.